Hey YouTube, I want to show you how to make a birch bark spoon and everything you're going to need to make it is here on the table. You're going to need a knife, a needle, some cordage, a small flexible stick, and some birch bark. And when you're working with birch bark it helps to have it wet, let it soak for a while so it gets pliable. And if you can soak it in warm water it actually makes it even more pliable. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to trace out the next picture that I'm going to show you on the birch bark, cut off the shaded areas, and then fold along the crease lines, and when I get back to you I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got it trimmed up the way that it should be trimmed, and I've got the it folded the way that it should be folded. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start to wrap some of that cordage around the handle and when I get over to here then I'll get back to you. Okay, so now that I've got the handle started I'm going to take the skinny stick, put it in through the handle and I'm going to use that as reinforcement around the lip of this. It's going to be bent around this lip and it's going to be sewn onto the edge of that lip going around. And then when I get back to the other side, the other end of the stick is going to be passed back into the handle of it. And what that's going to do is it's going to add some reinforcement to the spoon itself. Now I'm going to start working along and when I get about halfway, I'll get back and show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm a little bit past the halfway mark. Now I'm just going to finish stitching along the edge here. And I'm going to, with the excess cordage, I'm going to wrap around the handle going the other way. And then when I'm at that point, I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. Okay, when you're finished, this is something what it should look like. After I finished on this side, I, like I said, I was going to wrap around here going the other way. And you tied it off. And then you leave an extra loop on the end so you can hang it if you need to. But the only thing left now is to test it out and see if it works. Yep. It leaks a little bit around the thread holes, but other than that, it works pretty good. Now this isn't the only way to make a birch bark spoon. This book called Wildwood Wisdom by Ellsworth Yeager. This shows you how to make an Ojibwe drinking cup. But you could use that same principle to make a spoon basically. It also shows this way of making a spoon. There's a bowl. Here's a finished dish. And that's how you fold the dish. Here's another cup. Here's a ladle.
And that's it. It's a pretty good book. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. So anyway, here's my spoon. Go out and make one.